Let's roll, people. Let's go. Take two. Florencia Martin has brought back history in a way that has made it so alive. You're going to find a Los Angeles that you can taste and smell and touch because of her work. Role players. In discussions with Damien about how he wanted the film to look visually, from the get-go, he said, I want to be very historically accurate. My first evolution is diving into research and looking at what the city looked like in the 20s. Florencia had this insane challenge with this movie of not just recreating Los Angeles at this time, but also within that, recreating each studio experience, and within that, recreating each of the sort of fictional movie sets. You're talking about sets within sets within sets. Action! The first week of shooting was the sort of big kinescope sequence. We found this location in Peru, and we came here because it's completely desolate, and it was what Hollywood and studios looked like in the silent film era. Action! What had been a completely empty field, Florencia and her team used as the basis for building an outdoor silent movie studio with six or seven sets running at all times. It was extraordinary. Cut. So, now what did we discuss? When in doubt, say something French. There's two worlds in this film. There's people that are very impoverished, and then there's people that have a lot of money. Looking at how we were gonna shape those worlds by color was really important. Damien wanted to be bold with our color choices while still being historically accurate. Building sound stages, an entire 900-person battlefield, and six high-end homes, and doing historical recreations. Babylon is at the scale of these mythical movies you heard of in the past. We've got to innovate. We've got to inspire. What happens up on that screen means something. And camera. And music. Our guiding principle for music was to be rooted in the time, but to really push the edges of what we normally expect. I was blown away by the script. And once we started talking about what the score could be, what if we use the instrumentation of a 1920s jazz band, but hinting at rock and roll and modern dance music? I got very excited about it. We wanted music that was more aggressive. Hell yeah! More in your face. We've got to innovate. We've got to inspire. Justin has been working on this music even before we began shooting, so you feel that in the work. There's no doubt in my mind. This is a score for the ages. Justin's music gives me chills. It's really, really beautiful. So we want to build plateau, build plateau, build plateau. To get to play some of the songs brilliantly composed by Justin. You got those cameras pointed in the wrong direction. I mean, it was really cool. Tracks like the one that you heard at this opening party. Oh, I love this song! It's full of wild solos, screaming sax, wailing trumpet, and creating the sound of that perk. It's banging shoehorns, wood hitting the floor of my home. Literally, it's unhinged in like a beautiful way. Putting it all together, like the amount of sessions, the amount of players in this movie. It's been a really complicated but gratifying score to put together. 